Definitely some good tips there. Well, as we are taking a look now over Muskegon, this is a time lapse. This is a capture from this morning. We woke up to a little bit of cloud cover and then the clouds really did push out for the early afternoon and we got to enjoy a lot of sunshine for the early afternoon hours now setting up for a gorgeous sunset opportunity. A live look over downtown Grand Rapids also showing a similar view. Plenty of sunshine and clear skies across West Michigan. A little bit more cloud cover closer, especially towards Towards the south of I-94, but we are currently in a very dry air mass here in West Michigan, leading to the partly cloudy to mostly clear conditions. There's a system towards our southwest that's going to stay there. We are not going to be impacted by that system whatsoever, but we are going to see a little bit of the cloud cover leading into tomorrow. Other than that, a really dry evening and dry completely all day tomorrow as well. Our current visible satellite shows the majority of cloud cover closer towards our southwest. We are currently experiencing partly cloudy skies, but something really cool to see within that visible satellite is even some of the lake effect cloud cover closer to parts of Lake Superior and also some of the snow packed accumulation as well. Something we really like to view here at Fox 17. It's also quite a difference between our temperatures. 17 degrees right now in Hancock, 21 degrees in Duluth. As we take a closer look to West Michigan, temperatures are primarily in the lower 30s. 32 degrees in Grand Rapids, 30 degrees in Holland, 34 degrees right now in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, the warm spots of West Michigan. Our winds are pretty light, but they're quite breezy through Muskegon and Holland at the moment with those winds from the west. Our evening planner shows temperatures staying in the 20s throughout the rest of our evening. Tonight, the coldest temperature will be 17 degrees. The future track shows high pressure that's going to deliver the partly cloudy conditions. Cloud cover will be increasing throughout the rest of your Friday, starting off with some sunshine, but the cloud cover will be very persistent late Friday night and into Saturday morning as a warm front approaches. A few light sprinkles are possible early Saturday, but the majority of rainfall is going to hold off until later in the day as the cold front approaches for Saturday evening into Saturday night and the showers lasting through Sunday morning. So keep in mind overnight Saturday into Sunday, you might be waking up to a few rumbles of thunder. As we take a closer look with our super seven day, you can see the rain that's going to be in full force because of that approaching cold front lasting through Sunday morning and the colder air sweeping in on the back end of that system with an Another chance for accumulating snow showers on Monday. So we are actually going to reach 60 degrees on Saturday, dropping temperatures throughout the day on Sunday and a high temperature of 36 degrees in on Monday, only in West Michigan. Well, we will detail more coming up after the break, so stay tuned.